I'm Michael Dominic, and today I'm making apple roses with puff pastry. They are super easy, they are absolutely delicious, and your guests are going to think you spent hours making them. There's a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of apricot jam, and a whole lot of love. So let's get started. These are our ingredients puff pastry. You can make your own or save the time for something else and get a high quality store bought. You should use Fuji apples because they are the sweetest. I'm only using two, but it's always good to have extra. A sugar cinnamon mix. One teaspoon of cinnamon for every quarter cup of sugar will do. One large eggy egg and a couple of teaspoons of water to make an egg wash. High quality, all natural apricot preserves or jam. Around two tablespoons of melted butter. Make your egg wash by beating one egg and a couple of teaspoons of water. Such a cute little whisk. Now we're going to slice our apples, cut them in half, cut the ends off, and make thin slices like so. We're going to remove the seeds. I'm using a pastry cutter, but you can core the apples before or use a knife if you prefer to do it that way. Why not? Put your slices on the plate. It doesn't matter if they're overlapping. Don't stack them too high though. Put the plate in the microwave uncovered for one minute and 30 seconds to make them nice and flexible like so. Cover up those bad boys with a piece of saran wrap and a dish towel and put them aside while you prepare your pastry. Flour your surface and lay out your puff pastry. Sprinkle a little extra flour on top so your roller doesn't stick. Roll it out to about an eighth of an inch thick. Now cut one and a half to two inch pieces. We're not looking for perfect. These should be rustic looking. And don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's okay. I'm only making four today, so I have leftover dough, which I will use for something else later. Probably more of these. Separate your strips of dough and lightly butter them. Put enough apricot jam on your strips so they're coated, but not too thick. Now place your apples over the pastry, about halfway down, and they should overlap a bit. Now sprinkle some of your cinnamon sugar evenly over each one. You can use as much or as little as you like. Now fold the dough up over the bottoms of the apples like so, pressing them down a little bit. Brush the egg wash over the pastry. Now sprinkle a little more cinnamon over them. Roll them up carefully and place into a pre-buttered ramekin. They should fit in nicely, but not too snugly. Ain't that a beaut? Put a little more cinnamon sugar over the top. Your oven should be preheated to 375 degrees. Place the ramekins directly onto the rack. You're going to bake these for about 40 minutes, but about halfway through, place a piece of tin foil over each one to prevent the tips of the apples from getting too burned. And be careful. Yes, I'm burning my hand here. After another 20 minutes, they're ready. Take off the tin foil and remove from the oven. Place them on a wire rack to cool for about 10 minutes. Then, using a knife, separate the treat from the ramekin. And then, take the naked treat and put them on the wire rack to cool the rest of the way. Sprinkle some powdered sugar over the top, just because it's pretty. Look at that. Lovely. So my wife Ting, she's not here today, so I'll be doing the taste test, and here is the finished product. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that. Deliciousness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I wish Ting was here, because this would blow her mind. Oh, it's still warm, it's gooey, it's flaky. Look at the puff pastry, it just comes right apart. I'm gonna eat this whole thing right now. If you like this video and would like me to make more, 
like, subscribe, and comment, and maybe I will. I'm not promising anything, though. <laughs>